At Door to Power, we're here to help you navigate the ins and outs of our home energy improvement program, so you'll be one step closer to a more comfortable, energy efficient house. Have questions about when to use a participating program contractor or which upgrades qualify you for a rebate? This video will help clarify the preconditions and requirements associated with both the whole house and individual improvement approaches of the program. But first, let's see what types of energy efficient improvements qualify for rebates. We have whole house energy reduction, air sealing, attic insulation, duct sealing, smart Wi-Fi enabled thermostats, heat pump water heaters, and our home energy assessment rebate. As we review each of our improvements, it's important to note who is allowed to complete the upgrades in order to qualify. Each scenario varies and could include a Georgia Power participating program contractor, a licensed professional, or self-installation. We'll make sure to let you know which applies as we move forward. Now, let's take a closer look at how to qualify for each improvement. We'll begin with the home energy assessment rebate. Our assessment is a comprehensive in-home review to help determine what upgrades might be right for you. The assessment must be performed for the whole house approach and for air sealing improvements and duct sealing improvements. To qualify for a rebate, the home energy assessment must be performed by a Georgia Power participating program contractor and be the only home energy assessment you've requested a rebate for in a 12 month period. For the whole house rebate, a home energy assessment is required and the updates to your home must achieve a 25% electric kilowatt hour reduction. How is this measured? At your initial home energy assessment, a participating program contractor will use diagnostic equipment and software to determine the energy saving improvements that are appropriate for your home. This is called a test in. After the improvements are completed, you will have a follow up assessment or a test out to verify the 25% electric kilowatt hour reduction. To qualify for the whole house rebate, you must have an in-home energy assessment performed before and after improvements are complete by a participating program contractor. You can use a participating program contractor to make your home improvements, or you can partner with contractors of your choice, as long as the improvements are verified by a participating program contractor. And the improvements must result in a 25% reduction in electric usage. Now, let's take a look at our individual improvements. Air sealing is performed to reduce the amount of air that leaks in and out of your home. This rebate requires a home energy assessment. Much like our whole house rebate, a participating program contractor will perform a test in and test out, measuring CFM50 for your home's air leakage. There must be a 20% reduction in CFM50 to qualify for the rebate. Now on to duct sealing. This is done to reduce air leakage throughout the duct system in your home. For this rebate, ductwork must be tested before and after improvements, but you can use a certified duct and envelope tightness verifier or a participating program contractor. To qualify, there must be at least a 30% reduction in CFM25, and the majority of the ductwork must be in unconditioned space, which are areas of your home not served by a heating or cooling system. Next up is our heat pump water heater rebate. A heat pump water heater is more energy efficient because it uses electricity to move heat from one place to another instead of generating it directly like a traditional water heater. These can be DIY installed or you can work with a participating program contractor or a licensed plumbing professional. To qualify, an AHRI certificate must be submitted with the rebate application. You can find this certificate by visiting www.ahridirectory.org. Let's take a look at attic insulation. The requirements for this rebate depend on the type of insulation being installed. Dense pack, wet spray cellulose, or spray foam insulation require a home energy assessment performed by a participating program contractor. Non-air sealing types of insulation can be installed by a licensed professional or self-installed. With either method, it's important that insulation is installed across the entire attic. Additionally, customers or contractors will need to be familiar with the R value of the existing and newly installed insulation. The R value is a measure of the insulation's ability to resist heat flow. So the higher the R value, the better the performance. To qualify for the rebate, existing insulation must be less than or equal to R11. And after the improvements are made, the insulation must be greater than or equal to R38. For smart thermostats, up to two smart Wi-Fi enabled devices are allowed per residential account per year. 
You can install them yourself or with the help of a participating program contractor or a licensed professional. Thermostats must be purchased through the Georgia Power Marketplace. And at checkout, you will receive a Georgia Power instant rebate. Start getting more out of your home today. To submit an application for our Home Energy Improvement Program or to find a qualified program contractor, please visit georgiapower.com backslash home efficiency.